Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home with a certified car nut. Well, this week we're in Mojave, California to visit one of the legends of rod and custom, none other than Gene Winfield. Now, Gene has built some of the wildest stuff ever. This is gonna be a real treat. Gene, how you doing, man? Great, Dennis, good to see you. <laughs> oh, good to see you, and great to be here. What a place. You got a few projects going on. Yes, I do. Yes, you do, all the time? All the time. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> every week, every day, yeah. all the time. Yes. Well, what you got in the shop today? Okay, well, we have a 53 Chevy that's going to go to Japan. And uh, we, I rounded all the corners of the bed and changed the stake holes, and I made my own tail lights with the bow tie nice. design. And I like that. I like that. How about the Merc? Okay, the Merc is, uh, is here, and uh, it was already chopped, but somebody else kind of messed it up, so we had to redo it. So we're redoing all the body work, and we're doing uh, uh, disc brake conversion with drop spindles right now. That would be nice. And, and the Merc convertible? <clears throat> that was a four-door that somebody <laughs> else uh, made into a uh, made into a two-door, and uh, we're just uh, finishing it up. And we had to make new panels and things like that, so we're putting the windshield back on. And it's going to be a nice car. It's on a, it happens to be on a, an '83 Cadillac chassis. Oh, we, right. we put these Mercs on uh, uh, '77 through '84 GM chassis. They fit pretty nice? And they, yes, they fit. The Cadillac we have to shorten. The Oldsmobile 98, we, we put it right on. Wow, how works, nice. Works really good. Cool, we've been customizing forever, for like since so. Yeah, since 1946. That's that's forever. That's pretty close <laughs> to forever. You also been racing though. You got this, this little guy here. Yeah. Well, this is a. This is my little car I call the Thing. I recreated it about three years ago and uh, it has a flathead power. Yeah. And I built the nose all out of aluminum and everything, the nose and the hood. And uh, we're gonna go uh, racing this weekend. No I'm kidding. Gonna go to El Mirage. So she she runs and everything. Yes, yes. How do. fast do you think you'll go to El Mirage? Well, we're we're looking for 141 and a half. Now, is is that what you run with these tires? No, these tires, these dual tires, I put on there just for drags. So I ran it at uh, Bakersfield at the drags just to show it off. <laughs> but I take these all these tires off and put on the uh, the uh, you know the Bonneville tires. Uh, and and sing, off you go. And then I make a run this weekend. Cool. Now is this another uh, land speed car? Yes, this is a 39 Chevy from Sacramento and uh, it has a uh, six cylinder motor in it. I believe it's a GMC and uh, we're just doing some body work on it for him. We have a panel that was all rusted oh, yeah. out, putting on a new panel. And by the way, we found in the fender this salt. This is actual Bonneville salt from last year. <laughs> Caked in it. Well that would cause and some that, rust. Yes, and that was uh, right inside the rear a fender where it builds up from the tire. How cool, how cool. Well, you've been doing this for a long time. I mean, you've been, you've been customizing, you've been rodding, you've been racing, you've been, you've been doing it all. You've been movie cars, television cars? Yes. You, do you, do, I mean, do you have memorabilia, do you have a yes. scrapbook? Yes, I have a scrapbook. We'll go over and take a look. Let's do that. Okay. Welcome back to My Classic Car and Gene Winfield's otherworldly land of customs. Ooh, Gene. Nice 61 Caddy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can thank we you. use it for a podium here? Sure. Let's uh, look at my album right here. What's the history? Wow. Okay, this is my first dragster, 1948. You're a little younger then. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't look all that safe. No, it isn't. And, uh, <laughs> they wouldn't let me run it today and I, and I probably wouldn't run it today. You're lucky to be alive. <laughs> yes. Here, what's, what's that? This is the last Starfighter. This is the car that I built uh, for the movie, the last Starfighter. And while I was building it, uh, they were cr creating it in a computer. This is one of the first computer animated really? uh, vehicles that uh, was ever seen. Bonnie and Clyde? I actually uh, uh, did this after the Bonnie and Clyde movie came out. Uh, we wanted a, a, a show car to put in the shows. So I took a nice 34 and painted it, put new mohair upholstery in it, took it to a police range and shot it full of holes with a real Thompson <laughs> submachine gun. <laughs> that had to be fun actually. Yes, it was. <laughs> Blade Runner? <laughs> I did uh, all the cars. I did 25 cars for Blade Runner. Wow, that was such a wild and movie. That was, they Harrison were, Ford? Yes, yeah. they were designed by Sid Mead. And this is the car when I delivered it uh, yeah, to the studio in 1980. This was Harrison Ford's car he drove in the movie. And Now, is this <coughs> Star Trek stuff? You yeah, did Star Trek is, stuff? Yes, this was the uh, first Klingon. This was a scale model of the first Klingon. This was all done in wood, and it was only about 24 inches long. And then I built the shuttlecraft both interior and exterior, and this was uh, 24 feet long and 14 feet wide. For the original TV series? Yes, yes, for the TV series. I did all the instruments, all the seats, did everything. <clears throat> Is that Woody Allen's sleeper? Yeah, this was Trancers, another movie, and then Woody Allen and Diane Keaton in the movie Sleeper, and I did six vehicles for that. 
I did, did they the, blow any of those up? Yeah, they blew up a police car. <laughs> and then I did the Domesticon that hauled the uh, robots around to the people's houses to do their housework. I did two four passenger and two passenger. This is Back to the Future 2. This is the original artwork and from this we made a full-size foam mock-up, then took fiberglass molds off of it and then built this as the real car. Wow. The uh, police car for, and this is one they lifted to fly. And I also did one of the DeLoreans that they lifted to fly. It only weighed 700 pounds. It was all fiberglass. Everything was fiberglass except the wheels, tires, the shifter, and the steering wheel. Everything, seats, everything was fiberglass. And I made the wheels fold under and everything. And Street hog. And I think we're there. Man, that's some cool stuff, Gene. Well, thank you. <laughs> that's thank quite you. a book of memories. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Gene Winfield's scrapbook of his historical Hollywood customs was incredible, but I just couldn't wait to get the scoop on this radical ride that was right under my nose. Well, you know, let's talk about this baby right here. This okay. is a cool 61, what do you call it, Maybelline? Yes, I call it Maybelline. This is a 61 CAD, but I was doing a car for a customer and, uh, and he had a four door with this roof on it. Yeah, the I, fell, I fell in love with this panoramic rear window and so I took a four door roof off of a 60 and put it on my 61. What a steering wheel you oh, got in there. Thank it. you, thank you. I, I made that steering wheel, uh, me and a plastic company, and we glued, uh, you know, laminated uh, both clear and gold plastic together into a big square chunk, and then put it on a lathe and machined the inside and then milled it down through. That's three, got some time weeks. in that, do you? Yes, <laughs> three or four weeks at night, I sanded and ground on that steering wheel. Are these your mirrors? Yeah, the mirrors pop up out of the doors electronically. Very nice. And what power is this baby? This is a North Star, a Cadillac North Star engine. And uh, when I first put it in here, you know, it's a fairly small cubic inch. And um, I didn't think it would move this car uh, re really well, but it does. It just moves really up. moves out very well. Right down the road, It's, it's huh? very quick. And you got uh, some tricks in the trunk too? Yes, in the trunk. There's a tray in there with the amplifiers in it. The tray rolls out and tilts down. And it has neon underneath the carpet all the way around the back and everything. And I raised the fins higher in the back, made it a little longer, and I extended this side fin uh, way down almost three inches and tapered it all the way to the Just front. Just exaggerated fender. all the lines. That's right. And your Amplified. signature paint job on yes, it. Yes, I blended with my paint. I can uh, lower the uh, hood and trunk for you. Oh, the operator. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. And then the trunk also. <laughs> Gene, I love your stuff, man. <laughs> Thank you. But I, I came here to see some of your wild, some of your wild early stuff. Okay. All right. Can we go look go, at those? Let's go look at some more All cars. Right. Well, okay. A couple legends from the '60s. Yes. This is the Strip Star. Uh huh. And this is called the Reactor. I finished this, I believe, in 1965. So, and again, all all hand formed aluminum. Yes. Yes. It's welded down the center. We make one panel. Make each panel and, and it's welded, gas welded right down the center, all around these seams. Wow. It has, it has sequential tail lights. Now this was, and, and this was the car that was on the original Star Trek and, and, and on, yes, on what, and Bewitched? Bewitched. They wrote a complete episode around this car on Bewitched. Now how do you get into this thing? Well, we, uh, we raise it up uh, like this. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and raise the door. Oh, man. Does, and then we raise the hood. Oh, of course, of course the hood operates off of power. This is a Corvair front wheel drive on a Citron chassis. <laughs> An old Citron uh, ID19, I think it was called. Uh, probably a 62 Citron. Now you don't have and, any headlights. Well, the headlights come out uh, automatic like this. They come out and turn on uh, by the flip of a switch and this actual unit was from a Honda, a <laughs> Honda motorcycle. And then, uh, then I made the rest of it all out of aluminum. Oh man, well, did, can you fire it up? Does it run? Pardon me? Can you fire it up? Yes, it I run? think so, yeah. Sounds great, man. Does she run down the road? Yes, except the reverse is out. Oh. So it's a little hard to drive. Yeah, I bet it is. Well, how about, how about the strip star, does it? Oh, it runs good. Oh yeah? Okay. Well, let's go look at that one. Okay, great. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Okay. Well, you know, the, the reactor's pretty radical, but this baby, what a yes. rocket ship. And I call it the Strip Star. Uh, it has 427 Ford in it, 
And it's all aluminum, of course. Another aluminum body. Yes. Now, and, and many pieces again, how many pieces? Well, I don't remember how many pieces, but it has welds, you know, a weld right down through here and across here. And, you know, it's all made in pieces. And this one, we didn't make a wood buck. We used cardboard and then we made it by hand and by eyeball. So pretty much freehanded this? Yes, freehanded. Well, you know, I, I noticed in the front end of this thing too, it's, it's so asymmetrical. Yes, actually two headlights over here and none on that side. And this is a thing that we were doing in the 60s. We were making things asymmetrical. And, and is it the same? Is it asymmetrical in back too? Yes, yes, also. <clears throat> Has a tail light on one side over here and then the strip star lights up oh, and then it has a parachute, parachute for high speed. Now, did you, you built it as a show car? Yes, I built it as a show car and uh, with the intent that it would also run and go fast. And did you make it go fast? Well, I went to Bonneville in 64, uh, just before we finished it. And uh, I made one run there and, uh, and I was breaking loose. The tires were breaking loose. Well, 427, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I had a weight box in the back, but, but I didn't put the weight in it. And so it would break loose and the tack would go way up you and then back I'd off. back off and just let it couple up. And so I just had to ease it through there and I turned 127. And then I went off the end and I, I hit a hole going off the end and it broke the tail shaft on the hey. transmission. Broke it right in half. So I would have had to rebuild the car and I didn't, didn't have time. It was already Wednesday and I just didn't have time to rebuild it and, and, and make another run. And I was pretty sick about that because I wanted it to go 200. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That'd be that'd be pretty scary, actually. 200 in this car. Unbelievable. Now, how's she open up? Well, we open up the uh, top here like oh, this. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That's that's sort of one of your trademarks. I I suspect that the uh, hood does the same trick, right? Yes. Uh... <laughs> of course. Of course. Wow, and there it is, a 427 engine. Where'd you come by that? Well, I got that from Ford Motor Company, and that was when they were brand new. The 427s, it was, uh, you know, the first ones was in 62 and 3. And then did you have it worked at all? Well, then I took it to Les Ritchie, uh, the Ford specialist. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's dead now, but took it to Les Ritchie, and he CC'd the heads and, and uh, flow tested it and all that. So it's a, it's a good, honest 500 horse. <laughs> you know, and I mean, most show cars, yeah, I don't don't go at all. And this one went 127 and change, yes. right? Yes, that's, that's pretty true. Impressive. Yeah. That's true. Well, you know, you know, this one's got two seats in it. Would Would you like to take a yeah, ride? Yeah, I would love to take a ride. Let's okay. uh, take this baby out for a spin. Okay. Don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. What a day. Gene builds some awesome cars. What history. The Strip Star was unbelievable. But you know, with a 427 high riser and today's gas prices, you just don't get that far. Oh well, it was still a blast. What do you say, Gene? Should we tow her back? Yeah. Tow her back. back. Next week, we'll travel to Elizabethton, Tennessee. This all American town puts on a celebration of classics with down home charm. Plus, we'll check out the new aluminum diamond plate interlocking floor covering. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. <laughs>